What is Data Logger? Data Logger is a microprocessor based system. It logs the event occurring in the signaling functions of a station by monitoring the status of relay contacts and analog voltages. Data stored in Data Logger can be retrieved from Data Logger locally or transmitted to remote location by communication medium and viewed with special software. Data Logger acts like a black box which stores signaling data. Why is it required? It is required for easy identification and rectification of failures reducing MTTR mean time to repair. Predictive maintenance. Accident analysis. Monitoring the performance of signal operators and train loco pilots. Train traffic monitoring. Where is it used? It is used in stations wherever signaling is provided. Different applications of data logger. Data logger helps in monitoring the typical failures such as intermittent and auto write failures. It helps in analyzing the cause of the accidents. It helps in detecting the human failures, errors such as locopilot passing the signal even if it shows danger. Operational mistakes done by panel operators or ASMs of operating department. Signal and telecom engineering interferences in safety circuits. Engineering and electrical department interferences or failures. It helps as a maintenance tool in preventive maintenance of signaling gears. Data loggers can be connected in network. Networked data loggers help to monitor the signaling remotely. Failure reports can be generated remotely with help of data logger network. Online and offline simulation of a station is possible. Speed of the train on point zones can be calculated. Age of the equipments in terms, number of operations, etc. How it works? A data logger is provided with microprocessor. It continuously scans digital inputs, relay contact and analog inputs AC or DC voltages with the help of digital input cards and analog input cards. The scanned data is processed by the microprocessor and then changes are stored with date and time in the memory. The data stored can be viewed by making use of keyboard and LCD panel on the data logger. By connecting a printer, it is possible to get printed output of required data. By connecting PC loaded with special software data can be viewed in more user-friendly way in the form of simulation diagram and reports. Data loggers can be networked and data stored at remote location. Data logger RDSO specification number IRS S 99 oblique 2006 Electronics data logger system Features of 99 bar 2006 model system It works on 24 volt DC power supply Capacity Number of digital inputs 5, 12 minimum and 4096 maximum Number of analog inputs 32 minimum and 96 maximum. Scanning time Digital input 16 millisecond, analog input less than 1 second. 512 32 into 16 LED matrix to indicate the current status digital inputs. Alphanumeric LCD screen. 2 into 24 to display the status of digital and analog inputs with time. Keyboard to enable viewing the various functions in the LCD panel. Memory capacity. Up to 10 lakh events storing capacity in non-volatile memory. One change of status of digital input is counted as one event. 
5% of nominal voltage change or crossing the minimum and maximum limits set for the supply monitoring is considered as one analog event. Real-time clock with battery backup. Auto bypassing of data logger from the network in case data logger fails. Data delivery speed of 57.6 kbps into the network. Serial printer interfacing to print online and offline events. 16 serial ports for data exchange. How is relay status, that is digital input, monitored? 24 volt DC voltage is applied to the potential free contact of the relay, that is digital input, to be monitored. If the contact is closed, current flows through the contact. If the contact is open, no current flows. Current flowing through the contact is detected by digital stack card. Monitoring the status of a relay through potential free contact. Current detection information is passed on the processor card. The events of current starts flowing and stops flowing are time stamped and placed in the memory by processor card. Each event is stored as a packet. If the data logger is networked, the packets from the memory are sent to the next data logger through modem. How is analog voltage monitored? DC voltage. DC supply is extended to analog card by two wires. A fuse is provided to avoid supply failure in case of short circuit. DC supply is converted to frequency. Frequency is converted to digital value and displayed on the LCD screen of data logger. Accuracy of analog voltage is 1%. Voltage is scanned for every one second and value refreshed. Whenever the change is beyond 5% of nominal value, the changed value packet is sent into network. AC voltage. AC supply is converted to DC by rectification. Process followed for DC voltage is repeated. A controller is provided to monitor 16 analog inputs. Analog packets are sent to main data logger by serial port. Data logger hardware mainly consists of CPU module, display card, digital input cards inbuilt, dual modem card, analog scanning unit, digital scanning unit, CPU module which is the heart of the data logger and it does all the major operations. Motorola 68K processor capable of working at 20 MHz speed is used in CPU module. CPU module contains NAND flash memory which can store up to 10 lakh packets. It has real-time clock for keeping time. It has two DIP switches, one for configuring data logger ID and the other for configuring the number of digital inputs. The data logger ID can be configured using the 8-way DIP switch as follows. Data logger identification number always starts from 65. If any switch is in the direction on, it is marked on the DIP switch, which indicates low, otherwise it is high. Different combinations of the DIP switch settings will give the different identification numbers. It has 16 ports for serial communication. Three ports are dedicated to display card, serial printer and memory card. Four ports are generally used as answering originating T network port and debugger port. Six ports are used for connecting analog scanner cards. 
three ports are used for remote terminal units or electronic interlocking system or point machine. Display card DIS. This acts as interface between user and the data logger. Hence, it is also known as user interface card. It houses LCD display. 7 segment LED block. Processor status LEDs. Dot matrix LED block. Keypad. Display reset button and MMC card insertion slot. User can perform various operations through this card. 7 segment LED display for real time. This is built in real time clock within data logger and its current time will be displayed on 6 7 segment displays provided. Real time clock given by Dallas 1286 chip. This IC comes with internal battery backup. LED indications for processor health status. Three LEDs are provided on front side of display card below LCD panel to indicate the status of processor to the user. Normally, all the three LEDs should be continuously on. Health LED indicates whether the 68K processor has booted, started execution of code or not. Power LED indicates whether power supply to CPU module is on or not. Run LED indicates whether the 68K processor is in running state or not. LED block display. Online status of each digital input is indicated by one LED on the LED block display on the facial of data logger. LED is lit when the contact being monitored either front or back is closed. Display card reset button. On the front side of display card, reset button is provided, indicated as a display card reset button for refreshing of display when the display hangs. Resetting display does not have any effect on the operation of CPU module and hence it is safe to use. Provision for data retrieving into external memory card. Flash memory chip is used for data backup of about 10 lakh events. User can see the flash memory chip status. User can copy the files from flash memory to external memory card by inserting it into the slot by the side of LCD display. Digital input or scanner cards. Eight numbers of digital input cards are available as inbuilt cards connected to the same motherboard on which processor card is fixed. Each digital input card would be able to read the status of 64 numbers of relays. Digital input capacity inbuilt of the data logger system is 512. If you want to monitor more than 512 relay status then it is required to provide digital scanning units DSUs externally to the data logger system. These digital scanning units are required to be connected to the DSU ports of data logger system. All the digital inputs are scanned at a rate of 16 milliseconds. Scanning of potential free contact DSU ports, digital scanning unit ports. Each DSU port receives digital input data of 512 inputs from one digital scanner unit consisting of 8 scanner cards. 
from seven such ports 3584 inputs data is received through seven DSU ports by processor 512 inputs are monitored directly through the motherboard connection to the processor thus 4096 inputs are monitored by one processor data logger ASU ports analog scanning unit ports each analog scanning unit monitors 16 analog inputs each scanning unit is connected to the processor by one serial port six numbers of analog input ports are provided at the rear of CPU card to connect six numbers of ASUs thus 96 analog inputs can be monitored by data logger relay control port it is possible to control eight miniature relays through commands from central monitoring unit CMU signals to control these relays are conveyed through relay control port these relay contacts can be used for controlling the power equipment generating alarms etc provision to connect external devices to these relay outputs has been provided on the adapter PCB the devices should be connected to the relay controls as per the numbers provided on the adapter PCB scanner unit ASU analog scanner unit is provided in the analog euro rack it has two cards card 1 analog scanner card with controller which supports 1 to 8 channels card 2 analog scanner card without controller which supports from 9 to 16 channels to support a scanner card without controller it is mandatory to have a scanner card with controller in every set analog input capacity of analog scanner unit is equal to 16 channels to support further 16 channels from 17 to 32 we need to have one more set of with controller and without controller cards protection strip it is a termination PCB in between the source equipment and the data logger voltage scanner module all the voltages are connected through protection strip only one protection strip will support eight analog channels based on the type of voltage to be monitored on the protection strip one jumper selection has to be selected all the data concerned to analog channels will be created in the analog scanner with controller card unit and will be transferred to the main data logger as a packet through 9 to 9 pin analog communication port the basic connectivity of 16 numbers of voltage connected to the ASU through two different protection strips is shown this block diagram shows different stages involved in the scanning of one analog voltage value in case of AC voltage the AC input voltage to be given at AC to DC converter box and DC output voltage of the box is to be given as an input voltage at protection strip in case of DC voltage the DC input voltage can be directly given to protection strip the voltage value selection to be done through jumper settings on protection strip fuses are provided for AC input at converter box and for DC input at protection strip analog controller card performs the clamping and scanning the scanned data is fed to data logger through serial COM port six numbers of serial COM ports are used for connecting the six numbers of ASUs the LED indications are provided on the analog scanner card with controller for problem identification green LED TX data transmission to data logger yellow LED RX data receiving from data logger 
both TX and RX LEDs should blink continuously if the data is transmitting to data logger. In case if any abnormality is found in the LED indications, please continue further checking. Serial communication cable between analog cards and data logger is connected. The input fuse is provided in scanner card with controller. Analog input capacity of each analog scanning unit is equal to 16 channels. Maximum 6 numbers of ASUs can be connected to the data logger system. Analog input capacity of the data logger system equal to 6 into capacity of each ASU equal to 6 into 16 equal to 96 channels. All these analog input channels are scanned at a rate of less than one second. If we want to monitor the more than 512 relays status, then it is required to provide digital scanning units DSUs externally to the data logger system. These DSUs are required to be connected to the digital input ports of data logger system. Maximum 7 numbers of DSUs can be connected to the data logger system and each DSU is connected to one number of digital input port of data logger. There are 7 numbers of digital input ports to connect the 7 numbers of digital scanning units. Each DSU is provided with 8 numbers of digital input cards. Each digital input card can read the status of 64 numbers of relays. Digital input capacity of each DSU is 512. Digital input capacity of the data logger system is equal to inbuilt digital input capacity plus digital input capacity of 7 numbers of DSUs equal to 512 plus 7 into 512 equal to 4096. All these digital inputs are scanned at a rate of 16 millisecond modem card MOD. To enable long distance communication, data logger has an internal dual modem card arranged vertically in Euro rack. The upper modem is called answering modem and the lower modem is called originating modem. With two modems, each data logger can connect to two adjacent data loggers to form a ring structure. This helps data logger to send data in two directions. Communication is carried over analog voice channel. Quad cable or OFC voice channel is used for intermodem communication. The modem to line speed is 14.4 kilobards per second and data logger to modem speed is 57.6 kbps. Provision is there to connect two more modems externally to the data logger. Status of modems can be known from the LED indications on the modems. From the indications, it is possible to find out whether the medium is faulty or modem is faulty. Indications of dual modem card CTS clear to send CD data carrier detect RD receive data TD transmit data OH off hook AA Auto answer mode. RTS request to send. DTR data terminal ready. CTS LED on shows modem ready to transmit. CD LED on shows modem detects valid remote modem. RD LED on shows receive data from remote modem. TD LED on shows receive data from local data logger. OH LED on shows modem pick up the line. It indicates that the modem is working. OH LED off shows modem hangs up. AA LED on shows auto answer mode. RTS LED on 
shows request from data logger from data transmission. DTR LED on shows data logger is ready to send the data. CD LED is normally on and its off state indicates that the modem is not in link at the other end. TD and RD LEDs will frequently blink indicating the proper data transfer and receiving condition. OH LED should be normally on and its off state indicates that the modem is in hang condition. Modem should be reset. A serial printer port 9 pin D connector is available on adapter card of data logger. To this port a serial printer can be connected. Functional diagram of data logger system 99 bar 2006 model. Intermediate tag block ITB. The relay contacts are terminated on this block. It supplies inputs and common ground to digital tag block of data logger. Digital tag block DTB. It gives provision for termination of digital input lines on data logger. Each tag block can host 128 inputs. These tag blocks are connected to digital scan cards through motherboard. These are fixed to the side walls of the data logger housing. Interfacing card INTR Interfacing card acts as a gate between CPU card and digital scan cards. It contains multiplexes which helps in selection of digital scan cards by CPU card for reading inputs. Communication card COM it contains the required circuitry for RS-232 and isolated current loop communication. Search protection PCB GDT search protection device. For search protection, gas discharge tubes and resettable fuses are used in line protection PCB. The gas discharge tubes are connected across the communication lines and ground. When any surge occurs, it is discharged through the gas discharge tubes to ground. This protects modem and data logger from damage due to surges in communication lines. Resettable fuses are used in line protection PCB to allow automatic braking and making of circuit. The resettable fuses trip when a surge occurs, thereby isolating the communication lines from the data logger. After the surge, the resettable fuse comes back to normal conducting state. Multiplexing Minimum configuration and upgradability. Minimum number of digital inputs is 512 and it is upgradable to 4096 digital inputs. Minimum number of analog inputs is 32 and it is upgradable to 96 analog channels. Steps for upgradation of digital inputs. Incorporate additional hardware. For first 512 additional inputs, 1 digital motherboard, 8 digital input cards, 4 digital tag blocks are required additionally. 
This additional hardware can be housed in the empty space in the analog Euro rack. For further up to 1024 additional inputs, one more Euro rack also is required apart from other cards. For inputs beyond 2048 inputs, one more housing rack is required. Second housing rack can accommodate another 2048 digital inputs in two Euro racks. Configure DIP switch to appropriate value on processor card. Configure appropriate digital inputs for that station in NMDL at CMU. Steps for upgradation of analog inputs. Incorporate additional hardware. For every 32 additional inputs, one analog motherboard, two with controller analog scanner cards, two without controller analog scanner cards, analog protection strips, three AC to DC converter cards are required additionally an additional euro rack is required to connect the additional hardware it is possible to connect 1024 digital inputs or 64 analog inputs or 512 digital inputs and 32 analog inputs to an additional euro rack material required for maximum capacity data logger of 4096 digital inputs and 96 analog inputs. Three housing racks. Housing rack 1. Euro rack 1. Processor and 512 digital inputs. Euro rack 2. 32 analog inputs and 512 digital inputs. Euro rack 3. 1024 digital inputs. Charger and battery. Housing rack 2. Euro rack 4. 1024 digital inputs. Euro rack 5. 1024 digital inputs. Charger and battery. Mini housing rack for analog inputs. Euro rack 6. 64 analog inputs. Table for material assessment for 4096 digital and 96 analog voltages monitoring. Data logging of electronic interlocking. State of each signaling element point signal track circuit is represented by signaling relay. The contacts of these relays are wired to electronic interlocking as input. Status of signaling equipment is available in the form of bits in the electronic interlocking. The status of bits is taken from the electronic interlocking by data logger through protocol converter. Protocol converter takes the status of the bit in the form of a packet from electronic interlocking and hands over the same bit after converting the packet to common protocol of data logger. Electronic interlocking Protocol converter, data logger are connected by serial ports. However, the status of input and output relays are wired to the data logger as standard digital inputs. Analog inputs are also connected like in normal data logger. When a relay contact wired to electronic interlocking operates, it is recorded by the electronic interlocking and sent to data logger through protocol converter. The packet is stored in data logger. When a relay or internal bit of electronic interlocking changes its status, a packet is generated by electronic interlocking and sent to data logger through protocol converter. When the contact of an input or output relay of electronic interlocking is directly wired to data logger as digital input Whenever the contact status is changed, a packet is generated by data logger and stored in it. Analog packet is generated whenever voltage changes beyond 5% of its nominal voltage or when its voltage crosses the lower or higher limit selected by the user. This packet is stored in the data logger. Remote terminal unit 
RTU main Euro rack. RTU consists of CPU card, digital scanning unit, LED block indication for digital input status, 7 segment LED, user interface switches, analog scanning card with and without controller, LED indication for analog communication, LED indication for power on and communication, RTU connectivity in network along with data logger, 3 RTUs between data logger 65, data logger 66 are connected to both the data loggers in the network. Even in case of one cable fault between RTU's data will be available at data logger 65 or data logger 66. This ensures data availability at central monitoring unit even in case of one failure of communication media. User interface architecture. RTU will have a user interfacing unit which consists of keyboard with three keys they are mode key next key and previous key. 7 segment LED display. Block LED display. A total of 7 modes are defined for user interface module and these modes are mentioned in an architecture manner as given. Mode 0. Default time display. Current date display. Mode 0 default time display. Mode 0 is the default mode and displays the current time of the RTU. This mode is active whenever no other mode in the user interface module is used. Pressing of next key in this mode displays the current date of RTU. In this mode, current time of the RTU will be displayed and is updated for every second automatically. Time will be displayed on 7 segments in R minute second format. Current date display. By pressing next key at default time display mode, current date of RTU will be displayed on 7 segment display in date month year format. By pressing previous key or in time out that is 1 minute condition we can get the current time display which is updated for every second. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view current date. Mode 1 Configuration mode Version display Relay hut ID Monitors version Number of analog inputs Number of digital inputs Check sum even Check sum odd Relay hut on calendar Relay hut on time Mode 1 version display The version number gives the present RTU's version the following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view the version. Mode 1 Next 0 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments look like Mode 1 Next 1 Previous 0 Mode 1 Next 2 Previous 0 RTU identification number RTU ID gives the identification number with which that particular RTU is to be identified. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view relay hut ID. 
mode 1, next 3, previous 0. Firmware version gives you the version being used in that RTU. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen, that is, screened displaying time, and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view version of the relay hut. Mode 1. Next 4. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like Number of digital inputs Gives you the maximum number of digital inputs configured for the system. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen, that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view version of the relay hut. Mode 1. Next 5. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like Number of analog inputs Gives you the maximum number of analog channels configured for the system. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view version of the relay hut. Mode 1. Next 6. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like Check sum display gives you the checksum for both even and odd monitors used. Even checksum. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen, that is screen displaying time, and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view the even checksum. Mode 1. Next 7. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like After a time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represents even checksum. Odd checksum. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen, that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view the odd checksum. Mode 1. Next 8. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like. After a time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represents odd checksum. RTU power on date and time. Gives your relay hut on date and time. On date represents the date at which relay hut is last switched on. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen, that is screen displaying time, and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view the on calendar. Mode 1. Next 9. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like After a time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represents on calendar in date, month, year format. On time represents the time at which relay hut is last switched on. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen, that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view on time of the relay hut. Mode 1. Next 10. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like After a time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represent on time in R minute second format. Mode 2. Q 
communication status mode. Network port 1 communication packets. Transmit packets. Fail packets. Pending packets. Duplication packets. Network port 4 communication packets. Transmit packets. Fail packets. Pending packets. Duplication packets. Analog port 1 communication packets. Receive packets. Fail packets. Analog port 4 communication packets. Receive packets. Fail packets. Mode 2. Transmit packets. Network port 1. Gives you the total number of transmitted packets from network port 1. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen, that is screen displaying time, and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view transmit packets from network port 1. Mode 2. Next 0. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like After a time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represents Transmit packets count from network port 1 Fail packets network port 1 Gives you the total number of failed packets from network port 1 The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view fail packets from network port 1. Mode 2. Next 1. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like. Pending packets network port 1. Gives you the total number of pending packets from network port 1. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view pending packets from network port 1. Mode 2. Next 2. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like Duplication packets network port 1 Gives you the total number of duplication packets from network port 1 The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view duplication packets from network port 1 Mode Next 3. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like Transmit packets network port 2. Gives you the total number of transmitted packets from network port 2. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view transmit packets from network port 2. Mode 2. Next 4. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like. After time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represents transmit packets count from network port 2. Fail packets network port 2. Gives you the total number of failed packets from network port 2. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen, that is screen displaying time, and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view failed packets from network port 2. Mode 2. Next 5. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like Pending packets network port 2 
gives you the total number of pending packets from network port 2. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view pending packets from network port 2. Mode 2 Next 6 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments look like Duplication packets Network port 2 Gives you the total number of duplication packets from network port 2. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view duplication packets from network port 2. Mode 2 Next 7 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments look like Receive packets analog port 1 Gives you the total number of received packets from analog port 1. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view received packets from analog port 1. Mode 2 Next 8 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments look like After a time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represents receive packets count from analog port 1. Fail packets analog port 1 Gives you the total number of failed packets from analog port 1. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view failed packets from analog port 1. Mode 2 Next 9 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments look like Receive packets analog port 2 Gives you the total number of received packets from analog port 2. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view received packets from analog port 2. Mode 2. Next 10. Previous 0 Display on 7 segments look like After a time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represents receive packets count from analog port 2. Failed packets analog port 2 Gives you the total number of failed packets from analog port 2. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view failed packets from analog port 2. Mode 2 Next 11 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments look like Mode 3 Analog mode Temperature Analog channel status Mode 3 Temperature and analog Gives you the temperature and analog channel values Temperature Displays temperature in degree centigrade units or 7 segments Temperature is updated for every 15 minutes in RTU the following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys
to be pressed in that mode to view temperature in RTU. Mode 3. Next 0. Previous 0. Display on 7 segments look like. After a time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represent temperature in degree centigrade. Analog channels. Here two conditions arise. When link between relay hut and analog channels is perfect. Health status between relay hut and analog channels is not proper. Initial message irrespective of the above two conditions indicating the start of analog channels is displayed on seven segments as shown. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view analog channel values. Mode 3 Next 1 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments indicates starting of analog channels. Link OK When link is OK, 7 segments display the analog channel values along with the channel number. The first two characters left to right represent channel number and the last four characters represent the channel value. Health status fail. In this condition, when analog health status is not fine, that is fail, Note, here next key is used to view next channel value and previous key is used to view the value of previous channel. Message is displayed on 7 segments as Mode 4 Chattering of digital inputs Mode 4 Chattering of digital inputs used to display chattering inputs if any here digital input numbers which are chattered are displayed on seven segments the following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view the chattering signals pressing next key shows chattering inputs in the incremental order and previous key shows chattering inputs in the decrement order from first location. Mode 4 Next 0 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments represent chattering inputs if present. If no chattering inputs are present, 7 segment display in this mode represents that there are no chattering inputs. Mode 5 Digital Card Health Status Mode 5 Digital Health Card Gives Digital Card Health Status and displays Success Message on 7 segments if Success and Transistor Fail Message if Transistor is Failed and Card Fail Message if Insertion is Not Proper. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view digital card's health status. Mode 5 Next 0 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments represents digital card's health status is success. If transistor in digital card is fail, then 7 segments display transistor fail. If digital card insertion is not proper, then 7 segments display card fail. Mode 6. Total packets in database. This function is used to display the total packets in database of RTU. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time 
and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view total packets in database of RTU. Mode 6 Next 0 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments represents total number of packets in database. After a time delay of 3 seconds, 7 segments represent the total packets. Pending packets through port 1. This function defines number of packets pending in database that are to be transmitted through ANS or port 1 of RTU. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view pending packets through ANS port of RTU. Mode 6 Next 1 Previous 0 Display on 7 segments looks like after a time delay of 3 seconds, display on 7 segments represents the pending packets through port 1. Pending packets through port 4. This function defines number of packets pending in database that are to be transmitted through ORG or port 4 of RTU. The following data represents number of times mode key to be pressed from the default screen that is screen displaying time and number of times next and previous keys to be pressed in that mode to view total packets in database of RTU. Mode 6 Next 2 Previous 0 Note for all the functions defined above refreshing of current screen exists for every second. Also, if the function is not disturbed for one minute, default screen current time is displayed. 